members who know the meaning of loyalty. Good day, brothers and sisters. Hi, I'm Marnie Brooks. Cars, trucks, motorcycles. Whether you're a hardcore enthusiast or just someone who's trying to get from point A to point B, they are all forms of transportation and they touch all of our lives every day in a different way. In this edition of Out of the Box, we sent our powers Matthew Walton to Detroit to the North American International Auto Show to get the lowdown on the auto industry. Joining me now is Matthew. Hello and welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now, Matthew, we say we sent you to the show, but it wasn't quite that easy, was it? No, Marnie, it wasn't. Getting media credentials to the Detroit Auto Show is not an easy task. The Detroit Automotive Dealers Association is the group that runs the auto show, mm -hmm. and they are very critical about who they issue media passes to. And you were able to get some. How so? To be honest with you, it's because of that person right there, our viewers. Because of the growth of our power and the demographic of our viewers, the DADA was quick in issuing us passes. Wow, that is great news. So now tell me, what did you see at the show? You know, Marnie, the question should be, what didn't I see? Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have enough time here to go over everything I saw at the auto show, but basically I can summarize it in four parts. Concept cars, the overall spectacle of the event, innovation, and exotics. Mm. I don't care who you are, you, you got to get energized when you step inside this building this week. You know, entertainment merging with automobile, music, fashion, it's really cool. I think that's what the future is all about, merging all those different worlds together. The Detroit Auto Show is a spectacle within itself. There are over 45 manufacturers from around the world and each one is vying for your attention. They can get very creative in how they draw you to their booth. Jeep has made sure that their booth is off the wall. Great, lots of raps about cars. Yeah, uh, that, that kind of goes together. Like, I don't think there's too many rap songs that don't mention some kind of car in them. What makes the car so sexy? The way the, um, the nose of the car just sound, that's what I like. And they that's what I like a lot. You know what I love about coming to these auto shows are the concept cars. This car right here is one of Ford's newest concept cars. It is a futuristic design. It's got a lounge feel inside. Just take a look at that interior. 360 degree surround entertainment system. The red interior, where does it stop and where does it begin? I have to tell you, I'm in love with this car. Let's be honest, most of us will never buy a Suzuki, but I have to show you some of the crazy things they came up with as concepts for this show. Even if you're the outdoor type, Suzuki has taken one of their XL7s and retrofitted it with a camping gear. Look at this, the whole side door opens up to reveal AC power, USB adapter, and MP3 player. Woo! You know, there's so much to see here. I thought I'd just sit down and relax and take in a movie, but this is the most interesting movie theater I've seen. Suzuki has actually taken one of their cars, the XL7, and turned it into a movie theater. Look at that, the roof popped open, and now you have an outdoor theater system with your XL7. Concept cars are created to push the boundaries of innovation and design. Most concept cars will never make it past clay model, and only a rare few make it to the showroom floor. However, there are a number of innovations that came from concept cars that are available today. Oh, driving any of these cars, you can't beat. I'm like a little kid in a candy store right here, because uh, I'm a big car buff, you know, being a guy, so having all these, seeing all these cars and getting the VIP tours and all of them, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Well, I mean, I think that ultimately they're important because it gets you from A to B, but uh, if you can incorporate along with that something that expresses you and your personality, I think that's kind of uh, the, added, the added bonus. Everyone, I think, wants to have a car that, that, that makes them feel good and, and reflects something about them. The beauty of the minivan is on the inside. We call this the family room on wheels. 
This year we've introduced the 6.4 liter V8 diesel engine. It's a common rail uh, diesel engine which delivers 350 horsepower, 650 foot-pounds of torque. I would prefer something big. So when I, you know, you, when it comes up the street, you think it's a, a guy, a big old man pulling it, and then I get out and it's a little diva. <laughs> One of the things you get to do here at the auto show is you get to get in cars that you normally wouldn't be able to enter every day. This happens to be Ferrari's 599 GTB Fiorano. This car starts about $260,000, but after you add big brakes, maybe some crocodile leather to it, you can get up to $300,000 in a hurry. Ferrari, Lamborghini, Rolls-Royce, Maserati are all considered exotic cars, and there is no better place to show off these cars than at the auto show. This is the Lamborghini Murciago LP640 Roadster. The 640 stands for the horsepower. How are you doing today? Fantastic. Oh, wow. Now, this car will go 0-60 in 3.4 seconds. And here at the Detroit Auto Show, they just launched the program, Ad Personum, which means you can have your Lamborghini in orange and black or red, white, and blue. Oh, my car is so sexy. Did you see the rims? I want to like get in the rims and like take a bubble bath and have a fantastic time with it. Because they're deep enough. Holden, you know, it's beautiful, beautiful car. I keep thinking of Catcher in the Rye, Holden Caulfield. You know, that's how I remember the name, but it's, uh, it's great, gorgeous. Before I sign out of this story, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that American engineering and productivity is alive and well. The North American International Auto Show Truck of the Year is the American-made Chevy Silverado. And the North American International Auto Show Car of the Year is the American-made Saturn Aura. These two vehicles took home the show's grand prizes. This is a lot of area and there's a lot to see. But if you like cars, I mean if you really like cars, then this is where you want to be. From the North American International Auto Show, I'm Matthew Walton. Well, Matthew, now I know what you mean by exotics. <laughs> so did you bring one home? Uh, no, Marty. I really couldn't fit one inside my <laughs> luggage. <laughs> for Matthew Walton, I'm Marnie Brooks. Thanks for watching.